So my beautiful people, today I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get possibly the best looking armor in this game. Check this out. You mages out there will not want to miss this. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Sorcerer Lusat, you've probably heard his name. This is his armor. And it's incredible looking, incredible looking. And that globe on his head really looks like an, a, a flaming eyeball in it. Looking badass. Now, that actual armor set is more or less the same. Uh, the way you obtain it's the same way you obtain the Azure armor set. Now, if you saw my Azure armor set video, it's, this one's probably going to seem a little like Deja Vu because it's basically the same kind of thing. So... Yeah, we'll use a lot of footage from that video and cut it and slice it and put it into this one because it just makes things a lot like easier instead of me re-editing the same footage just to do the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, but either way, guys, this armor set is incredible, and I'll show it to you now. All you uh, mages out there who want a, a badass looking armor set, this one could be just for you. So check it out, guys. If it's what you like, you know how to get it with this guide. Now that's your helmet. Does offer a a special trait which let's have gone over a look at it right now so you see here what power remains within raises the potency of Lusat's primeval current sorceries at the cost of additional FP consumption so there we have it people but it's it does, you can't tell me that don't look that looks incredible look at the helmet it alone is just next level it really is so before you do this, there are two things you need to know about it. Firstly, you need to have beaten Radan, and you also need to have beaten Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Now you can do these along the way, especially Renala, because you have to go back to this spot. But Radan, I'll take out of the way, just straight up, just take him out of the way, make things easier, because I do believe later on in this like quest, it does block certain progress. So yes, take him out. If you haven't done Renala Queen of the Full Moon yet, that doesn't matter because we need to go to her anyway. But we need to go back to that area to get this set and complete this quest. So worry about that later on. But just make sure you've taken out Radan and you are good people. Okay, so firstly guys, we need to go and speak to Sorceress Salon. And her location is within the Waypoint Ruins. So come to the Waypoint Ruins Cellar uh, Grace Point if you have that. If not, go to the Waypoint Ruins and come down here. Within here, guys, you then need to just, just get rid of all her dialogue. Every bit of dialogue she has, get rid of it. From here, if you haven't already, go and grab the Comet Azure. If you don't know where this is, you'll see the location to it on screen now. Now, to get up to the location of this, you do need to have the Dectus Medallion. So, search YouTube for a guide. The Dectus Medallion comes in two halves. As soon as you get that, guys... You can activate this lift, it's relatively straightforward. And then from this point, people, follow the path I take on screen now. Now, we'll speed up the video, but you can slow it down using the YouTube uh, playback features if you want a, a, a slower version of it. But you just need to run around this entire area. Just follow where I go, guys. It's relatively straightforward. Um, and you'll come to the Azure NPC who's just hidden behind a path next to a grace. You obviously, as well, want to activate this grace. Make sure you get this because you have to come back to this at a later point. Well, upon activating the grace, guys, speak to Sorcerer Azure, and you'll give you this amazing Comet Azure skill. Now, if you've already got this, guys, you then need to go back to selling, guys, 
at Waypoint Ruins. Now, if you already had the Comet Azure when you first spoke to uh, Sorcerer Selen and you cleared out all her dialogue, you're good to go and you're ready for the next stage. If you just got the Comet Azure, you do need to go back to uh, Waypoint Ruins and speak to her and she will have another dialogue option to talk about Comet Azure or Azure himself. So clear out all dialogue options there, guys. From here, guys, you should have even more dialogue pop up. So clear it all out and you should get dialogue about Master Lusa, which means here, guys, you are on the right path. Now, this Lusa, who is a evil sorcerer, is trapped behind a magical seal. She gives you the seal breaker, meaning you have to go to said location and break said seal. From here, guys, you need to go to this point on the map right here. Now, there's a couple of grace points you can spawn in at around this area. I'm just using my closest one, which is Fort Faroth. So just spawn in here, guys, and do as I do. You'll come to this, like, gravesite ruins thing. And behind it, guys, is actually a boulder, a secret boulder, which if you hit, it disappears, meaning you can go into this rock cave-like system called Celia Hideaway. Now you need to follow the path I take on screen now through this system. Uh, there's a few uh, secret walls in your way that you need to get rid of by hitting. And you eventually guys have to come down. There's actually two floors to this. Uh, there's one like either side of each other. You want to go to the one. I think it's on your left and you'll see a sorcerer standing in front of a sealed wall. We have to take out this sorcerer and then guys just go up to the wall and trigger it. So you now guys have access to Lusa. Now if you speak to him, he doesn't say much, but it gives you the Star of Ruin. You then guys need to go back to Selim within the Waypoint Ruin cellar. Here again guys, clear out all dialogue and she will eventually request your assistance on an important task. And from here guys, you need to make your way down to the Witchbane Ruins. So any grace here uh, around this area is completely fine because you need to get to the Witchbane Ruins, which you'll see me doing on screen now. Once you get here, guys, just come down as I do on screen now. Moving, guys, you'll find the true body of Sorceress Selen. Here, guys, you'll see that she needs you to take a primal glintstone, basically her soul, to a new body. And you need to agree to do so, guys. From here, guys, we need to travel to where this new body is located. Now, this new body is located within Renny's Rise. And to gain access to this area, guys, you have to fight your way through a few enemies as well as a boss who can be quite difficult. But low to medium players can take him out. I took him out way, way, way earlier on within my playthrough. So, yeah, you need to come up to Carrier Manor, as you can see here on the map and fight your way through this manor grounds. So just follow the path I take on screen now, guys, and you'll end up at this boss who you need to take out. The boss's name is Royal Knight Loretta, and he can be a bit of a pain, like I said, if you're a low level, but medium level players, I mean, to be honest, like I said, I beat him as a low level, so yeah, you shouldn't have too much of a difficulty. If you can take out Radan, there should be no problem for you. So from here, guys, follow the route I take on screen now from the grace you get upon beating Loretta, and you need to come to these ruins here. 
on the ground here there will be a false floor which when you hit it will disappear meaning you can go down now you need to come down into this chamber and hit another false wall as you can see me doing on screen now within here guys you'll see that body that selen had stored away and here you transfer uh selen's glintstone into this body and then you just clear out the dialogue guys and from here guys you need to go to here bottom right of the map the chamber outside the plaza um because you need to speak to an npc here called jaren now you need to do this after he's defeated radan that's what i'm saying that's why radan needs to be taken out now this guy is located within the church not far from where the actual radan fight is initiated now if you speak through all his dialogue he will mention that he's getting out of here to attend to unfinished business from here guys you need to go back to the witch bane ruins but i'm left at a map Within here guys, you will find Jaren and that bloody corpse of Selen's body. Here guys, speak with Jaren until all dialogue is gone. This means guys, you have to get to the Grand Ray Lucara Library. And to gain access to this area guys, you first have to break a seal, which is blocking all doors. Now if you come to this point on the map right here guys, you'll get a map from a dude who will take you to the key of where you break the seal. It's hidden behind a dragon right about here. So go as I do on screen now guys, grab this key, then you can come back to the seal guys and gain access to this area. Now here guys you have to go to the area where Renala Queen of the Full Moon is located within that grand library. If you haven't already you do have to take her down but if you have you're already good for the next step. So upon taking down Renala Queen of the Full Moon, which is relatively a quite simple fight, from the sight of grace that will have spawned after you beat her, run back outside of the door. You'll see there's two summoning signs. We have a red one on the right and a yellow one on the left. For the purposes of this, we want to go to the yellow one on your left. Here guys, obviously you want to summon to assist Sorcerer Selen. So that's the option you want to go with, go with the yellow one. From here guys, you have to help defend Selen from Jaren. So kill Jaren and then you are good. Upon doing this guys you then need to speak to Selen who will be at the center of this grand library. From here guys just clear out all her dialogue. Weeping those rewards she gives you. From here guys then once all dialogue is done go to the grey sit down and stand back up and you'll notice she will disappear and the remainder of Renella, Queen of the Full Moon will be back. And from this point guys you can now get the Lucet's armor. You now need to head back to where we first saw him within the Celia hideaway. Go back there guys as I do on screen now. Go into that little that little room located behind that, that seal we had to remove. And you'll find his arm set there ready for you to pick up. And there we have it guys. This is how you get Sorcerer Lucet's incredible legendary armor set. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.